Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh, Bashan, Abishai, Bashan, Bakakadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Now more so than ever, to the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth, that be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners. And to the Yaquaf that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago coming at you another lesson in truth. And now uh, this is uh, Jude, um, uh, third verse, and it says, Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you to exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. So I'm contending for the gospel and defending the gospel. There's a comment left on this video. This video was a year old um, and it popped up in the comment section. And you know, sometimes it pops up, but then you can't click on it. When you click on the video, the comment don't show up. It's weird how that happens sometimes. But this guy named Z commented and he said, brother with a and what, and what you're not, my brother, not all white people are Edomites. Some are Jeff, Japheth, Canaan, offshoots. Hell, uh, wicked Israel mixed with Gentiles. There were white people on the planet before Abraham was even born. All right. And, th and the name of this, this video is uh, Wicked Plans Revealed on the Malcolm Channel. channel. Um, wicked Plans Revealed on the Malcolm Channel. And it's a year old. And it's uh, uh, Stephen Benoon's wife basically talking about everything that's going on right now with you know the the lockdowns and the you know the the variants and all the different stuff that's happening now and the plans that they were planning including world war three all right and the things that are coming down the pipe and, and, and it's all happening but nevertheless uh that is a complete lie all right what he said and uh first of all there's no such thing as white people that's a that's a social construct which they they uh, made up. They basically started using it in 1681 in the uh, in Virginia. All right, that's that's a fact that that can be proven. All right, and as far as Japheth being Canaanite and 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 and, and I mean white people being Japheth and Canaan, there's there's that's ridiculous because Canaan is a, is a uh, is a son of of Ham and Ham. Is what you so-called uh, black people, all right? And then, um, and and then Japheth, the relics that were left all over Europe, and the people <laughs> that came from there that are still here in the world are evidence of that. As a matter of fact, uh, when you look at the Hawaiians, uh, King Kamehameha, right, which was one of the last kings over Japheth, one of the last Hawaiian kings, those are your true Japhetic people. What's left of them? All right. The Hawaiians, the Samoans, the people in the Fiji Islands and things of that nature. And King Kamehameha wore the same headdress that the uh, that the Romans wore and that the Greeks wore before them. All right. So why would they be wearing that headdress? Because that head and the way that they even built their their huts and the way they live. All right. Well, the same as in ancient Greece. So the Grecians were a dark complected race of people. All right. And that's beyond that's there's way there's so much evidence. And it's funny on the. Um, on the Critical Race History Channel, we were just into the book of Timbuktu, from Babylon to Timbuktu, the history of the ancient black races, including the black Hebrews. And and he presented a plethora of, of evidence to prove that uh, all the people, you know, Ham, Sham, and Japheth, they were, none of them were so-called Caucasoids. The Caucasoid, the, the uh, so-called white people, as you call them today, the ones like, like Stephen Benoon's wife on the... Uh, on the screen, that those are the seeds, the sons and daughters of Esau, Edom. All right, and there's no such thing as mixed, as he was saying. You whatever your father is, so it doesn't matter who who you mix with. It all goes back to the father. All nations are, are mixed up at that point, but the but the all the eighteen nations are still here. They may look different because of the mixing, but they're still here. The seeds of all those people. The Bible clearly says there's no end to all the people in Ecclesiastes. All right, but this is an insert from um, from Babylon of Timbuktu, uh, chapter two on page eighteen at the bottom. It says the sons of Noah were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. 
Because the world was populated from these three sons of Noah, it is proper to classify men only to this classification, Shemites, Hamites, and Japhites, and not Caucasoid, Mongoloid, or Negroid. Those are made up terms, all right, which cause nothing but confusion. The latter, that, the, the latter category is a modern anthropological classification that we would deal uh, uh, more thoroughly later, which basically came along with Johann Blumenbach and the uh, and the uh, white superiority doctrines. All right, page nineteen. The third classification of mankind was the Japhets, and Japhets, who was the youngest of Noah, offspring of Japhet, occupied the isles of the Gentiles, the shores and the territories of the Mediterranean Sea in Europe, parts of Asia Minor, which they dispersed northward over the continent of Europe and a great part of Asia. Well, guess what? We have the Negro question. All right. Now let's see what some of these scholars. All right. We, this, this whole first page is dedicated to authors and people who spoke live, scientists and historians at the time. All right. That wrote about the people of Europe. So let's start with Professor Winchell Alexander. Our remote ancestry, and then it's giving you the book and the resources where it came from. Hold on, let me move this phone. All right, and it reads, uh, Professor Winchell Alexander, Our Remote Ancestry, 1815 to 1900, collection of journals. And this is what he said. These short black men came from Atlantis, Northern Africa, and they overran Europe, and they were known as Britons. And that right there is false, but what he's saying is that the bodies that they found, all right, because they didn't come from Africa. Everybody black didn't come from Africa, all right. The all all um uh, um the, the what you call the fervent crest, uh, ancient Mesopotamia, Babylon, all those were provinces of of the sons of Ham, which you do, which you would call Afri Africans today, all right. The Haroma historian Tacticus, the origins of the Black Britons. The Iberians are people with curly hair, Anthropological Review Society, London, Volume 8. You see the, all this information coming out? Joseph Ritson, Annals of the Cardonians, Picts, and Scots. Now, those will be the sons of Japheth, many of them. Um, the Iberians were actually Israelites, and so were the Britons. Right? They weren't the same as the, uh, as the, as the dark-complected uh, Negroid-type people that got ran out of Europe. That was Those were your Hawaiians your Samoans and people in Fiji Islands, etc., the Australians. All right, the Picts, the Brits, are brown complexion with curly hair. Ivan uh, Sertima, Africa, presence in early Europe, page 225. Britons look like Ethiopians. Albert Churchill, 1912, Origins of Evolution, page 12 and 13. The Black Bosque, meaning bodies from Europe. Okay, uh... Professor Boyd Dawkins, our earliest ancestors bygone days, a lecture delivered in the public hall of Collyhurst, Manchester on January 8th in 1879. I wonder why they don't use this book in all schools. Why isn't this part of the, the uh, curriculum? The ancient Britons, Irish Scots are short black people. Pages 103 to 107. All right. Dr. Thurnham. Nature Journal of Science, page 92. From the evidence at hand, it seems that the Iberian black man occupied the whole of Western Europe. All right. Professor Huxley, 1870, Iberian race. The Iberian boss black bones have been found all over Europe with animals. So this killed that whole uh, 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 Icelandic, you know, Nordic, all that. That was after the fact. That came with Alexander... Uh, uh, the great, all right, of Macedon took over, all right. That's when Europe got lightened up, and all these and all these white people began to move into there, so-called white people, all right. The original, the original dark inhabitants, which were Japheth, were driven out, and then when Rome fell, everything that I just read, those were those were mainly uh, 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 Israelites, and then what was ever remaining of Japheth took back over Europe, point blank, period. That's what happened. That's the history. All right. Now, uh, this isn't going to be a long lesson. Just to shut down that bull crap that he said. We're going to go into uh, uh, the Young's Bible Dictionary. 
And we're going to read the definition of Ham. Because he's to, you know, they try to say that Canaan, you know, Esau, that was that false doctrine, that sub Saharan doctrine garbage that they tried to come up with. Because, see, the evidence that was found all over Nubia and the evidences that were found all over uh, uh, Egypt and north of Africa um, was a thorn in the side of white superiority lies. So they tried to come up with some with this whole uh, uh, thing that the that you had white people, white uh, I mean you had uh, Africans, but they weren't they were they were a white race of African or they were a different race of people. Some madness they tried to come up with, but let's let's go to the definition of ham and shut down this lie. And here it is. And I'll just read it through the camera so that you can see it. All right. And it reads. Ham. A son of Noah, father of Cush, Egypt put and Canaan. You see there. All right. Then they talk about the curse of Ham for slavery. Uh, so how is Canaan a so-called white man? You see the madness. See further on each of these four. While they all may have been dark skinned. They were not. Ham continued. Oh, come on. Now I don't want to focus. Come on, man. Fucking Esau fucking with the camera. Ham continued. God damn it. There we go. Ham. Uh, the, they were not the forefathers of the Negroid races, but rather the people associated with Egypt, north of the continent of Africa. That would that would be Babylon. That would be Assyria, where, where Abraham came from. The Egyptians thought Canaan it, it, it was the land of Israel, that whole area, their provinces, every even into the very late times. And I just read an insert from uh, uh, from Babylon to Timbuktu. Where it even tells you in the Talmud that the, it is written in the Talmud that the that the Hamites came to claim back their land from you know it even says that that they came to try to claim it back from the uh, uh, from the Edomites all right when they would you know when they came in all right because you got to remember there was a time when the Edomites were ruling in Egypt because uh, when Alexander took over. Uh, one of his generals, uh, Ptolemy, set up in Egypt. So all of a sudden you had white pharaohs and white people in Egypt. And that's where they come up with the, all these bullshit lies, man. Because Esau, the truth of the matter is you'll often hear Edomites say that blacks contribute nothing to, to, to civilization. All civilizations were so-called black. And everybody black is not the same. So-called. All right? All the nations were brown-skinned people, man. All right? I have a book from Shakespeare which tells you Cain was colored red. So we know Cain, when he when when that was a curse put on Cain, he was turned pale. And, and Cain was born and, and came back reincarnated as Esau Edom. And so the difference is, is that when Cain was on the earth looking like this woman on the screen, that he was the only one that looked that way. All right, that's why he kept marrying all those dark women that uh, uh his father told him not to marry. All those 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 women that he was told not to, trying to trying to uh, get that 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 stigma off of him, but his children hit they where they still kept coming out dark. It wasn't until he came back as Esau where the where the paleness stuck, and then all of a sudden they became a pale race of people. All right, they became clean lepers. Okay. And there, and there is a there is a, a portion in the Bible where some Israelites, uh, where an Israelite I forget his name, I'm gonna have to go and look it up, where he got turned pale and his seed after him, but he still is an Israelite. So in that case, he's right um, that all so-called white people aren't Israel, and then you, and I mean, aren't uh, Edomites, and then you also have to uh, uh, think about the fact that. All the nations have intermixed, but if your father is a so-called white man and he has and he marries into a Moabite, he marries a Moabite woman, an Ammonite woman, an Egyptian woman, whatever the woman is, it doesn't matter how dark, how brown, 
how, how slanty-eyed or whatever, the child comes out, that child still is an Edomite. And that same thing goes for all the nations. But primarily, the pale people on the face of the earth are Edomites. Okay? So with that, you know, I hope this was edifying lesson. Call Halal Yehawabashin Abashai Abashim Wakakwadash Wa Ababa Ba Shalom and Kwam Yasharala.